Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Greetings. Greetings, viewers and subscribers. So, I had planned on taking the day off today, but I have some exclusive information to share with you. Now, when we start today's journey, we'll be starting at Sheffield and we are heading to Negril in the parish of Westmoreland. So when we start the journey, sit back, relax and enjoy this journey with me. Now, yesterday, I told you about the killing of Mr. Jerome Basir. I've been trying, but I haven't gotten any photograph of him. He was the 67-year-old businessman who lived at McKinley Heights in Mandeville in the parish of Manchester. Mr. Basir, he was shot and killed at the Coy Road at Tollgate in the parish of Clarendon. Now, there is a correction to be made. It was Mr. Basir who owned the plaza beside Joseph Pattis at Clarendon Park in the parish of Clarendon, but he was not the operator of the gas station. He had also rented out the shops on the plaza. Now, I'm going to let you hear what someone who once worked with Mr. Basir had to say. But before that, what we are learning is that Mr. Basir, he lived in the United States of America for many years. He came back to Jamaica and he started to do business. The construction site where Mr. Basir was killed on Tuesday morning, he was developing an apartment building there. He used to operate a slaughterhouse and a farm at that location, but he converted the slaughterhouse into an apartment building. Mr. Basir, he also owned several heads of cattle. It is said that Mr. Basir, he had some cousins who are animal thieves. And this has been going on in the family for many years. From grandfather to father to son. You get my drift? Now, some of the cousins used to work with Mr. Basir, but like I said, they are animal thieves. In December 2021, some cows were stolen from a cow past owned by an ex-superintendent of police. The ex-superintendent of police, he received information that the cows were in Mr. Basir's pasta. He went to the pasta one evening and he was able to identify his animals. As a result, the police got involved and Mr. Jerome Basir, he was arrested and charged by the police for last of cows and receiving stolen property. That case is still pending in the courts as we speak. It is said that a lot of animals were being stolen in Clarendon and an order was given to kill all animal thieves. Mr. Basir, these cousins who are known animal thieves, they were threatened. In fact, hoodlums went to the cousin's home at Comfort in the parish of Clarendon and opened gunfire on the house. The cousins, they were not hit. Persons were encouraging Mr. Basir to leave the cousin's company alone, but he still insisted on keeping them close to him. In fact, after the cousin's home was shut up, Mr. Basir he moved the cousins into his McKinley Heights home in Mandeville. After a while, the cousins moved back to their home at Comfort District in Clarendon, but the threat was still out. And it is suspected that a list of the names of animal thieves who were to be killed were being circulated in the underworld in Clarendon. And according to what Senior Superintendent Carlos Russell the commander for the parish of Clarendon. According to what he told the parish councillors at the municipal council meeting in Clarendon on Thursday, January 12th, three men who were suspected to be on that list were shot. Two of them died. The first attack took place on Friday morning, January 6th, about 9.30. A 25-year-old man named Nicholas Williams, also known as Marvin, he was shot and killed at Comfort District in the parish of Clarendon. It is said that Marvin, he was riding his bicycle to work when he was shot and killed by hoodlums traveling in a Toyota Mark X motor car. The hoodlums, they drove up beside him and shot him dead. Now, I will soon come back to that incident because there is something 
very important right here. The next incident took place about five hours after the one that I just told you about. It took place at Rhymesbury District, near to Comfort District, where the other incident took place. In this incident, two men were in a cow pasture attending to some cattle when they were approached by three hoodlums who opened gunfire at them. Nicardo Reed, also known as Bugo, he was killed and the other man, he was shot and wounded. It was suspected that it was the same three hoodlums who had killed Marvin earlier who carried out this hit. Hear this now. Nicholas Williams, also known as Marvin, he was on his way to work when he was killed. He was employed by his cousin, Mr. Jerome Basir. Now, Marvin, he was one of the cousins whose house was shut up and Mr. Basir allowed him to stay at his house for a while. Marvin was one of the alleged animal thieves who a hit was placed on his head. Are you following me now? So persons are wondering if this is the reason why Mr. Basir himself was killed. Remember that he's still facing the courts after he was allegedly found with stolen animals in his past. But there is more. There is a whole lot more. I was sent a voice note by a PNL detective. I want you to listen to what the PNL detective have to say about what the PNL detective know about Mr. Basir. I'm gonna disguise the person's voice for their protection. Listen to this. Papa, man, the man is joking. Let me tell you why the police cannot unravel this murder so easily. He has been threatened by different people. The land that he has the apartment buildings on the family claimed that because him have his money he came and he took away the land from them and he wants all the land and so he has his money as lawyers that he used some top lawyers and so most of the lands are now in his name the land belonged to his grandfather Right, not his father, his grandfather. And so the whole family structure is against him. He actually tells one of the niece that he's building a house on a part of the land. Not near where he is, you know, because him take up all of that the land, they gone back to Comfort or Rhinesbury. Him take up a whole of that land. But he's not satisfied. A niece in Canada is building a little house on a not a part of the land, but she's also a granddaughter, a great-granddaughter. And he told her he's waiting on her to finish the house before him take the land because his lawyers are whatever, whatever, and they know they will take all of the land. He went to a hunker. The hunker lease a part of the land on the main road in Asburn Store Square, just a bit out of the square there, so where you see a, um, where you see a container with a bar and they do jerk chicken and all of that out near where they have um lord after they pass the gas station the, the gas station in the square going to porous side right on the left hand side there's a container that is also the family land he went there and he wanted the the, the person whom the land was leased to to pay him the lease instead the uncle came out and they had one big showdown out there. Him tell the uncle, say, my wait for him for dead because as soon as him dead, that part of the land belonged to him too. Right? So you have the, that the land problem. You have the co problem. His niece was taken away by the second most wanted man in Clarendon. The niece escaped one day and ran to him told him where the boy was and all of that and so when the police cornered that boy um the boy claimed that it was um they who allowed the police to catch him so him say him get another threat from that boy even though the boy is in jail him get threat from him 
that as soon as him come out, what are what him going to do? Because he must kill all of them, including that little girl. Right? The girl was 15 at the time when, when, when the gunman took him away, took her away. I had her in bushes for days. But the girl escaped one day and went to him, the hunker. And so, it's a, it's a whole lot of things. If I was him, if I was him, I would go back home. Him though Jamaica is a part of his home. He has been living in the United States and England for years. His wife and kids are in the United States. We keep encouraging him to go back to the States. Go stay with your wife. The man laugh at everything, Papa. Every single thing the man take as joke. But I guess he's not laughing now. So you heard that. The mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend. About Popeye News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe, and share. Quick Silver Sin, if we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. If we just unite, what a country this will be. Come on, man.